Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Binding of Isaac random modded streak. Uh, I thought I hit the record button, but I guess not. We are on the first floor of another Tainted Lost run, would you believe it? We do have a, a uh, item room up here. Uh, I, th I swear to you, I hit the record button, but I guess not. Your question for today was and is still going to be, what is the strangest or weirdest TV show or movie or book you have ever read or watched? And I was just about to say... Uh, it's not a good day to be playing uh, T-Loss for me. I had some pretty awful sleep last night. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, I assume most of you uh, regular viewers do, that we got a new kitten recently, uh, and she's she's great most of the time. She's very playful, very upbeat, very energetic, uh, and, and she's, she's, she's awesome, right? Uh, but the issue is, when, when kittens, you know, are very young and newly born, uh, they love to play at like every single hour of the day. Whether you're sleeping, working, resting, they wanna be jumping around, clawing you or biting you. And normally it's fine because I, I can handle that high energy pretty well. The only thing is uh, when I'm trying to get a good night's sleep, I'm trying to rest and cause I got a big, you know, stream ahead of me, a big day ahead of me. It, it really does suck when all the cat wants to do all night is claw at your hand or, you know, bite your nose, whatever the hell the cat wants to do, it, it can be a bit taxing. And uh, this was my first night sleeping in the same room as this kitty because previously I was either dog-sitting or I was sleeping... Oh my god, that went through a fucking wall, excuse me. Uh, or I was dog-sitting or I was uh, sleeping outside of that room with the uh, other kitty, that being Beauty, the one we've had for, like, the last half a year. And, um... Because she needs, like, a sleeping partner or she'll go crazy. But last night I was like, you know what? I'm going to try sleeping with the other cat and just kind of see how that goes for me. Uh, it wasn't like it was terrible, right? But I'm already a pretty, like, restless sleeper. I, I never get the best sleep. So interrupting my already bad sleep with, like, even worse sleep that is is provided by a cat, like, constantly harassing my body. Uh, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of it. Well... Who could have seen that one coming right there? We got Steven, though. Uh, can we go to our shop and maybe get a holy card, please? Right, there was no holy card in here. Can I get some money for champion builds? Or what, you're like a 1.75. You're a luck upgrade. We're not going to... I didn't mean to buy that, but cool. We're not going to need luck uh, going forward on this run. We're going to get perfection pretty fast here. We're also going to need to get a holy card. That was kind of just a bad place to be in that fight in general. Uh, nice. Uh, what's better, upgrading Little Brim or buying Champion Belt? It depends on how much money we get here, I guess. Okay, I am, I think, going to just go for Champion Belt here. We already have a, a really, really high amount of damage. We're already past what our last run's damage was. And I think the only other thing to do now is look for a Holy Card somehow. Because that was, I have never been hit in the first floor like that ever before. And my, my ego needs to be a bit of a pick-me-up. So please, game. If you could be so kind. That's, it's, it's good defense right there. Not a holy card. Actually, the worst card in the entire game. No joke. We get a couple of keys back there. The only last chance we have for one is uh, right here or right here. Please? Or I guess it could be right here as well. I'm, who's to say, really? Come on. There we go. Holy card inside of here. Ah, golden key. Golden key. Uh, you know, it's not terrible. I guess you just uh, take this opportunity to move on down. You don't go alt path on today's run. But I don't know. I, I love this kitty for sure. Like she, she's great when she's when we're awake and we, we want to play with her as well. But th there have been times recently where it's like I, I can't wait till the, the kitten phase is over and reduces spawn rate of champion enemies when entering a new room or taking damage, gain an aura. We definitely don't want that. Uh, just because the damage is going to be more important than reducing champions. I can dodge every champion type pretty easily. What I can't dodge, uh, what I can't manage is having on-hit effects like that is. So, I mean, it, I guess it is like really good defense for us. I think it was like when you enter a room, you also gain that aura. So it may not be that bad. What, what did you say precisely? Yeah, you know what, dude? Sure, we'll take it. Um, We do have a small enemy repelling. I think it's like the soul, pretty much. 
But that that is actually pretty good. You know what? I'm I, I shouldn't have dissed that item so quickly there. I apologize for for being so so forthright. But I, I can't wait till the kitten phase is over. Like I, I really just want to have a cat that will get along with my other cat, so we don't have to have our bedroom door closed. Excuse me. Uh, all hours of the day, and a cat that also sleeps at night and doesn't want to play constantly. Uh, a cat that doesn't fling her litter around the bathroom because she likes playing in her litter like it's a fucking sandbox. It, just, just like the little things that really get to you. I, I can't wait till the kitten phase is over. That almost guided the shot directly into me. Maybe it wasn't the best item to have. That's what I can't wait uh, until it's over for. Okay, useless and... Alright, even worse than useless. Can I maybe get to my shop... If I just get one holy card, we win the run. If, if I have done the last two T lost runs, only getting hit once each, and both of those times being somewhat like BS, uh, we can do this run with only getting hit once or getting... Okay, yeah, dude, sure, that was really cool of you. Or only getting hit zero times, I guess, you know? We, if we can just get a holy card. Restock is good for getting future holy cards. Uh, I, I can't, you know... Be wrong about that, I guess, but not not the intention I really had. I'll, I'll be honest. What is this? Pear throw? That is insane. That is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, of rune in the game. And this item room gives us a quality zero item. Better items, my ass. Hushy's still pretty okay, though. Oh my god, not the buggy. I can't even see his hitbox, dude. I guess I kind of can see his hitbox with how big his fucking sprite is, but... Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna probably definitely bomb you next time you hop towards me. If you decide to ever hop again. You know, I don't need to bomb you. I should, though. I, that's why you don't bomb Monstro, by the way. He will just jump over it and make you feel very sad. Okay, Monstro is dead. I am going to walk into this devil deal. I do need, like, instantaneous pick-me-ups. It'd be a great room for uh, air throw, isn't it? I don't think any of these I would take anyways as this character. Don't hit that fight. That's how you got hit last time. Yeah, I don't care about Enraged Soul. Duality. That's a really good starting item. That is a, a genuinely solid starting item to have. Again, defense would have been nice there, but I, I can't always get what I want. I, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm going to keep going a little bit faster here. I want to go for my secret rooms. Okay. Uh, great timing there. I guess we're going for our super... No, it can't be there. Uh, I just complained about the game giving me floors that were too small to find secret rooms, and now every single room that I see is too big to find secret room. What kind of irony would that be? Nope. Uh, can't be there. So you have to be either... I think you have to be, like, up here or below our shop, I guess. You were right here. Holy card. <sighs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Move on down. I, I feel like the 1 in 20 chance has to be a, a, a joke, right? Because out of the last three Tainted Lost runs, we've only seen two extra holy cards, aside from just your starting one. I, I cannot believe that it actually is a 1 in 20 chance. I, I refuse to believe it, actually. I just, I, I can't see it being true. But anyways, um, the cat's great. She, she's very healthy. Uh, the vet results were, were very positive, so that's a good sign. At least no fleas, no earworms, nothing like that. It, it's just the kitty phase of being super energetic and scratching up every inch of your body. But going back to our uh, question for today, I, I don't know. Like, I, I was going to, I'm not trying to say strangest as in like, ooh, it was super spooky and very like surreal. I'm gonna say strangest as, like, I don't- Oh my god, the room. It's the room. Like, I don't know what they were trying to go for there. Kind of strange. And I watched a movie last night uh, that most of you should be familiar with called- Don't be greed. Okay. 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 Yeah. No, th things are going good right now. Um, it it's a Stanley Kubrick movie called Eyes Wide Shut. And it is- That's really good. Um, about a couple who is, like, somewhat falling out of love, uh, getting into all these, like, weird, like, hypersexual fantasies and adventures and stuff like that. I know it sounds like... It is a horny movie, by the way. It, it's, it's intentionally a very, like, horny movie, but there, there's a lot more depth to it, I guess. But I really wasn't... 
super into it when I was watching it. That has to have a holy card. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yes! Oh, let's go. Reverse Queen of Hearts. Picking up broken hearts will cause your damage to increase. I don't want to kill myself. I'm going to go that much and that's it. We're, we're going to take that back for a minute. We're, we're going we're gonna to take that back for a minute. <laughs> Am I cheating again? Yeah, but I, I wish I could see my broken heart count. I swear to you that I counted to like uh, the proper amount there, but I definitely did not. Forget me now effect, king of spades and king of clubs. Where is my ju judgments over here, obviously? Don't be a fool. Uh, okay, listen, I know I cheated there, but like, I, I wish I could see my broken heart total. I, I, I was like, is it going to kill me or not? If I get killed, let's rewind at once, no big deal. It was for curiosity's sake, again. The win streak counter, doesn't, it's broken. One of my mods broke my win streak counter, so it's like, it doesn't even matter really. Uh... If we're winning or losing, I'm just here to have fun. I'm just here to have a good time. But uh, I watched the movie called Eyes Wide Shut. It, it was a really weird situation because I didn't know the movie starred Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise, both of who I've been watching a lot of their stuff in specific recently. Uh, a lot of Tom Cruise. I, I have fallen in love with Tom Cruise's acting. But I enjoyed the movie. I'm not saying it was bad by any means. Like, I, I actually really enjoyed the premise of it. But I feel like once the big climax happened, the rest of the movie meant practically... Character-wise, it meant a lot to, to Bill, who Tom Cruise plays. But in the audience, you don't really get that same... Holy shit. You don't really get that same feeling um, of like, oh, that's crazy. It's more just kind of like, yeah, you were a bad husband. She was, you know, a kind of not okay wife. Like, what's the big deal? And I, I just, we don't get to explore a lot of what I feel like I wanted to explore in there. Like, when you have a secret society, and the character only visits it once, and it, the rest of it just gets explained, like, through a, a side character, I don't know. I don't want to diss a classic, but, like, is the movie a little bit overplayed? Like, the, the cult scene was really, really cool. Like, that I was super into. But the problem is definitely this the problem is with that specific cult scene is yes please you only see the cult once and then everything else about them is told through word of mouth which could be a cool idea because cults are supposed to be secretive but it, it feels like it's very anticlimactic in that way and I, there were just mixed messages for me like i didn't know if he was if stanley kubrick was trying to more display the relationship between the husband and wife and their turmoil or trying to explore the more like secret society aspect uh, and Tom Cruise's character as an individual that kind of message to me it got a little bit lost in there and I you know to be honest it could have been me just not understanding the movie a lot like it definitely is geared towards an older audience for sure and maybe in a couple years I'll watch it back and I'll, I'll understand it more and more each watch through but uh I was not, like, thoroughly involved as I was in another Stanley movie like The Shining, for example, which obviously I think everyone can agree is probably a bit of a better movie, but I'm not here to generalize everybody's own uh, thought. Our pale rotation is actually really, really good, it feels like. Ooh. Uh, mini bombs. We don't want that because... It is going to probably cause us to get hurt a lot. Now, Cursed Eye, that's an interesting one. That is a really, really interesting one. You can definitely pop this. Uh, I'm going to really want to have money on this run, I feel like. Can I upgrade you now? I can. Both of you, actually. I'll do it. it it's worth it to have the big old familiars. So how your Brim Beam's going to do more damage, I assume. But because we can't get hit and lose the Cursed Eye thing... I think it actually might be okay to grab a Cursed Eye anti-grav run. I know everyone's going to hate me for doing this, because, like, they're both, like, highly frowned upon items. But 
it's gonna do a lot of damage to bosses. It's gonna be really bad for individual rooms, which I think is is gonna make it bad overall. I'll I'll definitely because you can spawn me holy cards, so I'm gonna take you. Oh, I should have judgmented that last angel room. That's my bad entirely. Uh, we'll do it next time. But what was that? I I forgot that was my train of thought right there. Um, holy cards can spawn from this, and it's probably better than having pills that could hurt the run. Uh, maybe in a couple years I'll watch back Eyes Wide Shut and I'll enjoy it more. I didn't hate it. I, I actually had a good time watching it, but um, it was it was really hyped up to be you know a, a really great film, and I thought it was kind of like just good. Uh, now the weird thing is I, I actually really really do enjoy Nicole Kidman. Uh, I, I think my first movie that I recognized her or realized her in uh, was The Northman because uh, her performance in that movie and of course the theater ad before that I was like man she's she's a really good actress and then from there I started watching or I guess kind of recognizing her in other things uh, off the bat but it, it's it's been really fun. I'm not, I hope I'm not becoming like a film bro, because film bros kind of annoy me, but I, I've definitely gone from being more of like a music bro to a film bro, uh, and I don't know how to feel about that, because I know film bro mentality is annoying, and I'm sure I'm, I'm uh, perpetuating that quite a bit. Ooh, I'm gonna skip that, but I, it's, it's hard to not when you enjoy something that much, like to the effect that I really enjoy like super surrealist movies uh it's hard not to like just like talk about how like fucking cool i think they are and i it's it's a lot of people's criticism of like people who are really into movies is that they only like things that are pretentious just for the sake of them being pretentious and that's true for some people but i think it's a lot less common than you think and the mentality in recent time has shifted towards thinking I know it's not a- we'll, we'll still roll it, we'll go for this. Has shifted towards thinking, liking any non-American film means it's pretentious, which is such a weird take to have, because like, America is not the only- What are you doing here? The only country that makes good movies, you know? Like, I don't like the mentality, oh no, please, 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 please. Okay, we're fine. That uh, America is like- the only big film production company. Well, it might be. Ooh, that's, a, that's actually. Yes, take that. Um, while they are one of the. Ooh, we're gonna go deeper. Yeah, that's definitely deeper. One of the bigger ones for sure. Uh, like India's got a great scene. I mean, RRR came out recently, and it's it's incredible. Um, I I've been watching a lot of like. Japanese films too, just like when I'm editing because I don't understand the language at all, but they, I think the visuals are really fucking nice. I don't watch movies just for one reason. Like I watch them because I, I mean, the visuals might look cool or, you know, I might like the the premise or shit like that. So I, I'm not trying to involve myself in a planetarium, by the way. Oh, no, no, no. That was really risky. Curious and I'm going, well, this is actually a little bit busted. Now that I think about it, uh, because we can just walk through every single room with actually zero consequence. Besides, like, item rooms and shit like that, we're gonna want to do for sure. But I, I watched a couple of Japanese movies recently. I couldn't pronounce those titles if I wanted to, which is kind of sad to say. Demon form? I can go demon mode in this game? I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, we should pop our stuff for holy cards more. We're going to gain damage for walking into uncleared rooms. Yeah, would you look at that? We're going to gain also more for walking into boss fights too. That's pretty nice. It's a good good situation to find yourself. And also BFF with upgraded familiars is a little bit insane. I'll buy that. It's a waste of money, but whatever. This is going to be a crazy ass floor for us. And that's the boss fight. We can just do the boss fight. Like, we have Eucharist ready. It's not gonna make a big difference here. Holy shit! We do so much damage. Another damage multiplier, too. We have 65 fucking damage right now. It's gonna get worse next floor, but still. I know we did technically die. Are we supposed to be losing damage from that broken heart thing? 
I think Tano Lost does not lose damage from that Broken Heart thing, which is actually insane. Yes, we did die. That was a fucking spike. I couldn't see. That was a spike chest. Um, okay. I'm gonna need a holy card, uh, officer. Stat. <sighs> One in five chance, obviously. We all know and love. We're gonna die on this run. Despite having 65 damage, we're gonna die up for a second time. No holy card. Driftwood's actually really good. I'll take Driftwood. No holy card. No holy card. Uh, okay, we can do a couple of things. I'm gonna go find the boss, but it might honestly just be a better strategy to bum rush every room. Because at least it... Oh, wait. Oh, it went away. At least at that point, um, we're not running the risk of always being hit by a ton of stuff. Easy room for money right there. Holy card. God, I just, all I want is a holy card. We've seen, like, a lot of cards on this run. And I can tell you firsthand, not a lot have been very holy. We can go back here and maybe find another one. I don't know. We're going really fast, though. We're at 16 minutes, depths 2. That is a, a great time. No holy card. Uh, this room could give us one up upon completion. We do have the better challenge rooms mod. Although, I don't want to bank on doing a boss challenge room. I guess we could one-shot, like, everything in there. Don't die to a chest, please. Uh, sure, we'll take chalk. Please. Three skull men. Three of them? Three more? Zero more. That's a lot of skulls, baby. Battery for us later if you want to walk back through there. Oh, boy. We have two speed, just run. Okay, there is a restock machine in here. Oh. My God, 106 damage, by the way. Uh, 106 damage, brother. Give me a holy card right now. I can't use that, not in good faith. Okay, start bombing this guy for more. How did that bomb not hit you, dog? I don't want to hit the restock machine, but we're probably going to be pretty close to hitting it no matter what we do here. I just need, oh, that's going to hit it, isn't it? No, it's not. I just need money for a holy card, dude. Just need money for a holy card. Come on. So far, nothing. What is... Dude, come on. Like, if you're gonna lie to me about it being a 1 in 5 chance, at least just let me know you're lying at the very bare minimum. So I think the strategy now with your 105 damage is you want to do this. We're probably, we might die in here. You never know. We're going to be the mom transformation now, though. Oh, my God. You need to fuck right off, Mr. Next Floor Boss. Holy shit. No holy card there. Wow. Uh, these rewards are a little bit too overpowered, I think. Uh, that is Jupiter. Immune to poison damage is actually big. Oh, I didn't know there was a choice. I wish... Oh, more cards. Look at that. If I would have known that was a choice, I probably would have taken the other one. Forget me now effect. For an extra shop? Ooh. Actually. I'm popping that now. I know we're playing a long game right now, but dude, any chance I have of getting an extra holy card... That was strange. I have to take... First of all, you know what, dude? Break these. You don't want to die to an explosion. And you go ham again. Good. Driftwood, thank you for the assistance there. Not a holy card, by the way. Okay. We get straw man, I believe, and it will t we'll take bile knight. I don't know why it's misspelled there, but it is. Up the world card. Another tainted item room. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll have to go to that as well. We'll bomb through here. I do see an arcade and a shop, and I know where my red room is. So we have a decently big floor to explore. I just would really like, once again... Uh, holy card, please? Just run through it. But not this room, though. Don't get me. Thank you. Fighters. 
Instead of receiving items at the defeating a boss, you gain a permanent flat 0.8 damage boost. Uh, no, I don't want that for a couple of reasons. Uh, the main one being that some of those items could obviously drop us cards. That could have been death right there. Uh, and other ones could give us even more damage than that, or more effectively for us right now, it would be a, a tears up. I want to talk about Eyes Wide Shut more, but we're kind of in a place where uh, talking is not really an option. Not a holy card, by the way. Ay ay ay. It's going to be a rough run. Full of all kind of mistakes, not hitting the recording button right away. Ay ay ay, dude. Off my rocker. You could give me a holy card, though, if you're feeling nice. A BD1P video, but every time he says holy card, it speeds up by 6%. Don't try this at home. I gotta bomb these fires. They're, they're giving me anxiety right now. God, no holy card. I, I feel like whenever I, I get so many card drops from the new foiled cards and shit like that on every other run. But the, the second I want to get, like, I, I need to get a card drop, the game forgets that it can spawn cards. You know what I mean? At least that didn't kill us. Keep going along here. I don't know even what's happening. There's too much going on on the screen for me to really process this. You missed your item room? You should go back for that. Because again, cards. <laughs> That's kind of all I want right now are the, are the holy cards. Come on. Please. Dad's mallet. You could drop me. Another Essence of Judas. Okay. Get out of here. You could drop me a card. I know this for a fact. We have 171 damage. I don't I don't know why we just gained 175. Or, no, we're at 104. Oh, Succubus. Right. That confused me for a minute there. Don't spawn a gape around me. You asshole. We're, we're probably not going to win this run, by the way. If we were going this really fast, we probably could. But I'm trying to be overly cautious. I want to keep my Tainted Lost semi-win streak here. Uh, despite that little broken heart inside. I should have just not grabbed that extra broken heart. I got too greedy. Oh, hey, there's some money. Come on, dude. Either break or just, like... You know what I want. Oh, what is that? Essence of Eden. All items in the room will reroll into items of the same quality upon entering new rooms when held. I don't know what that means. How can other items... Oh. Hey, Glitch Crown. Uh, fancy seeing you here, I guess. Does this cycle now? You do not cycle. Okay, well. We are going to our boss fight. With the essence of Judas. Uh, popped and ready. Don't die before you get there. You can, you can still make boss rush on your second... Oh my god, a holy card. We finally have done it. We can, we can live free and be free. Give me that fucking Judas essence. How fast do we kill mom? Well, one hit's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna take the negative easily. We're gonna we're gonna go uh, land path again. Well, I'm just gonna go random here. Mine is really really good to have. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, we're also gonna do this and bomb you, so we can get a key piece and essence of Judas. That hopefully more pedestals from these do not touch that middle chest. You know what that's gonna do to you. You know exactly what that would do to you. Come on, one of you spawn me a pedestal. Or give me more keys. You're done. Oh my god, Godhead. And I got Godhead. And we get... Why was there still a pedestal up there? Okay, well, we take this stairway easily. Uh, we grab this. Uh, Purgatory, easy. And, well, uh, the run is kind of... And an Emperor card, great. The run is kind of just, like, spiraled out of control right there. We somehow randomly grabbed the Mind, Godhead, and Stairway. Probably the three singular best items in that room. Uh, what about up here? Abel! All right, dude, Abel. You know what? Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, what is this room? We have 131 damage. I just want to say, it's probably one of my highest base game, non-game break damages of all time. Here's up is good. Friendly Ball's not- did we already exhaust the entirety of the pool? I wonder if the other pedestal was Sacred Heart, but it was invisible again. And like, cycling through invisible stuff. 
that actually would make like perfect sense in my mind. Either way, keep on going. Well, what can I say? Uh, plus 65 damage, look at that. Yeah, we seem to have cycled through um, every angel item already. There's my clickbait title, is every angel room in one item, or one uh, thing. Sure, we'll take Blood Clot here and get charged up. Listen, this is a very vanilla game breaky run. Although a lot of the modded stuff is what made us get like to this point, the items that, that made us actually OP, is that Brimstone? That's Brimstone. No pause buffer needed there. Uh, okay, how does this work? Oh yeah, we have anti-grav god brim. Okay. Conjoined anti-grav anti god homing brim. Uh, how many more adjectives can I fit into that sentence for the title? What do you guys think, huh? We, we can actually, oh my god, we can banter again. The, the, the threat of losing the run is still present, but not as present anymore. Uh, okay, eyes wide shut. Final review score. I'm gonna give it a seven. Still really good. I wouldn't say it's great. Uh, the, the, here's the pros of the movie. Really good world building. The cult is, it really does seem out of the ordinary, and it really does make you feel, um, like there's more to be explored there. The cons, there is no exploration for it. It just is shown once, and that mystery is there. That could be intentional, it could be to make you feel more like the main character, but I would have really enjoyed seeing more of it in the movie, uh, in my humble opinion there. Now, what are, what are another, what's another pro? The cast. Uh, the cast is obviously insane. Like, you look at it, did nothing. Okay, great. 209 damage. Uh, you look at a cast with Tom Cruise, you look at any Tom Cruise or Nicole Kidman movie for that matter, and you're gonna be like, damn, this is an all-star cast. And it is. I don't know uh, any of these supporting um, actors. I recognize, uh, uh, who's that Sweden girl? Lily so Sobinski, I think. I, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I recognized her from something else. I forget what I recognized her from, though. But she's, she's a very, like, B-list actress. I almost just bombed myself there, dude. Very, like, B-list actress, but still one that I, I, know from, I know from something. And it's kind of bothering me. I don't know what I'm trying to figure out here. That was a one hit. He touched my brimstone and folded, like the little bitch that he is. What did I recognize? I don't even know. It doesn't really matter that much. But every the only person I didn't really like in the movie that I thought stood out as being like a little bit. I didn't mean to. Oh, it's actually really good. Didn't mean to grab that though. Like kind of being. Uh, oh, no, my one cent is gone. But you gave me glowing hourglass, so we immediately win. But I really wanted a Ludo, but I can't have it. The world sucks. You know what, dude? Get me out of here. Um, the 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 hotel manager. He felt like he was overacting, and that was probably also on purpose because he was supposed to be like a nervous guy, but like it was overacting in the wrong direction. He, you, can, you can tell he was trying to act a giddy. It's like a meta layer right there. Also, here's the boss fight in a second. Well, give me one more second here. I don't know what's happening right now. I know Bile Knight's getting hit, but I, it, it feels like it's me occasionally. All right, uh, you might fold within... Wow, that was a one-shot, two-shot. Damn it, it's a two-shot fight? Well, uh, we won the run, kind of. That one broken heart thing uh, was a little bit upsetting, but we're here to have fun, right? If you enjoyed the run of my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.